time for us to get started. So good evening, everybody. Um, <clears throat> this training was supposed to happen a couple of weeks ago, but we've actually had, as you're all aware, tons and tons and tons of training going on over the space of the last couple of weeks. And I think, to be honest with you, there's been so much stuff coming from every direction. And the one thing that concerns me a little bit about all the stuff that's coming out is complicating it because we had I am Academy and everyone was talking about Instagram. We had GoPro and people were talking about Instagram and TikTok and this and that and everything else. A few of us were fortunate enough a couple of days ago to have a conversation with a guy called Larry Thompson. And I mentioned this when I sent the invite out, but Larry Thompson is one of Simon's heroes. There aren't many of those, but one of, one of, one of the people that Simon credits with, with getting him to where he is now and having made 14 million out of this industry with the attitudes that he learned from Larry Thompson. Um, but it wasn't just Larry Thompson, <coughs> excuse me, didn't just teach attitude. Larry Thompson so also taught success principles, principles that, that are as valid today as they were 53 years ago when he was first introduced to network marketing. And I put something in the Phoenix group the other day because it's sort of worth thinking about this. This guy has created, on average, a network marketing millionaire every 10 weeks in the 50 for 53 years that he's been in this industry that tells you that that's, kind of, that's not a flash in the pan is it every 10 weeks for 53 years the guy knows exactly what he's talking about but what he was talking about was keeping it simple more than anything else keep it simple so we're going to talk about that right now so i'm going to go back to sharing my screen and show you how we're going to talk about actually presenting the business yourself so this is the bit that scares most people to death when they get involved in network marketing most people talk about different aspects of it but actually presenting scares people witless i have to choose my word carefully there but witless when it comes to what they're actually going to say to people because people are actually scared of speaking in public anyway we talked about the first couple of skills that you needed to so, for, so first of all finding your prospects making a list and then inviting them to look at the presentation on the 10th event but sometimes you're going to be face to face with the prospects and sometimes you're going to have to figure out what it is that you've got to say and this is where i see most people make a mistake at this point because they seem to go crazy with information overload when they're talking about the business. So the very, very first thing that you need to remember when you're talking to your new prospects is this is not about you. It's not about what you've learned whilst you've been involved in this business for however, however many days, weeks or months it may have been. Because we're talking about something that can be quite a technical subject, people can get really, really excited with the things that they've learned. And people, I, I hear people that say around, they start saying, you know, I got involved in this business six weeks ago and I, I, I didn't have the faintest idea what a Bollinger Band is. I had no idea about um, divergence and I didn't know about this. These days I look at the charts and now I get it. I understand it and I can see... Your prospect, when you're talking like that, your prospect, their eyes are glazing over and they're losing the will to live because you're talking a completely different language to them. You need to be sort of thinking about your prospects, not about you and what you've learned. See, here's the thing that you really need to remember more than anything else. Your prospect doesn't care how much you know until they know how much you care about them because from your prospect's point of view, the only person they're interested in is themselves. And that's right. That's how it should be. They should care for themselves. But if you want to be successful in network marketing, you should care for the people that you're bringing into your team. The people that I see in this business, and I'm, I'm really lucky that I don't see any of those in this team, but I've seen lots of them within the business. People who come in and they're all about themselves. 
they always disappear always without a shadow of a doubt because their prospects know that the people don't give a toss about them you have to do it you've got to keep this as simple as you can make sure that you're talking their language not yours but the two most important words that you use when you're talking to people are you and yours because you're actually excuse me drinking fizzy water when you're actually talking to people, you've got to be talking about them and what's important to them. And when you focus on them, this, a different attitude comes across with them. Because when you focus on them and you start talking about them, people love you to death. Their people's favourite subject is always themselves. And I can demonstrate it really, really easily. If I went out and I bought myself a really flash, expensive pen, and I gave you a pen and said, just try the pen and see what it feels like, what would be the first thing that you would write? Nine out of 10 people will write their signature or they'll write their name. First thing you automatically think of. If you give someone a map and point to a map, the first place they're gonna look for is the country they live at. If the map happens to be an A to Z, and you're looking at the country, then, then they're going to look, look for the town they live in. And if you're looking at their town, they're going to look for their street. People always put themselves at the center of their world. So make sure that you're talking about the most important thing to them, and that is themselves. Because when you're doing that, then first and foremost, the prospect likes you because you, you, you're saying the right things that they want to hear. But when you're talking about the business, you also have to make sure that when you're talking about the business, your prospect looks at you and thinks, I can do that. Now, if you're talking about divergence, Bollinger Bands and everything else, they've got no idea what you're talking about and they just think it's too technical. They'll never understand it. They don't want to do it and they'll run for the hills. If you turn around and say, I got started with this new business and they told me all I need to do is if I can send a text message, I can make money. And last week I earned £100. Or last week, even I earned 50 pounds. For most people, an extra 50 pounds a week is huge, particularly right now. For the last eight, nine months now, people have been living on 80% of their normal income if they're lucky. Some people have lost their jobs, everything else. All of a sudden, a few hundred pounds a month that we once thought was, was neither here nor there, it's a big thing right now. So when we're talking to people and we're talking to them about Jason Brown earning 860 million, uh, 860,000 a month, most of them don't believe it. And even if they believe you, even if they don't think you're telling lies, they can't see themselves doing it. They just, it's too big and it's too much. But if you tell them that they've got the opportunity to earn an extra two or 300 pounds a month, and we can deliver that really quickly, an extra two or three hundred pounds a month can be the difference between possibly losing their house or keeping their house. It will motivate the hell out of people. And if all they have to do is say to people, all you've got to do is say to people, look, all I know is they told me that if I can send a text message, I can make some money. So they send me the text message. I copy some numbers from one app and I put it in another app. And last week I made 100 quid. People think I can do that keep it really really simple that's why we call it duplication that's something that everyone can do and your business will grow and your team will grow right now when you're talking to people with really complicated pitches trying to explain all about the business and you're relatively new to the business and you don't understand it yourself properly anyway it just makes it really really tough for them that's why we tell people to use events and when you see people going to events and selling events, the professionals that do it, they always use the events to explain the business. They don't explain the business themselves. They use their upline to do it or they use events to do it. Professionals never, ever talk in detail about the products. When I'm talking to people about the business, I do not go into the ins and outs of how trading works. I don't go into the ins and outs of anything to do with technical stuff i just simply tell them we've got educators and we send people signals that they can copy and paste whilst they're learning how to do it themselves so just don't go into that simon never does that and if you if you ask simon to talk about technical stuff, i'm not even sure simon could talk about technical stuff but he can sponsor people like it's going out of fashion 
professionals want to ask instead. They want to know what their prospects want. Because if you can find out what your prospect wants, you've got it made. And you get that by talking about them and talking to them about what it is that's really, really important to them. You know, find out whether they've just lost the job. Find out whether they're, they're having a hard time. Find out what their problem is. Because when you find out what their problem is and you then turn around and offer them a solution to that problem, people are more likely to jump at it. If you turn around and say to someone, or you find out that someone has... You know, they've, they've been, been on furlough for eight months now. They're not sure how much longer the company is going to survive. And the company is talking about redundancies. And you used to turn around and say to them, well, look, if I could show you a way that you could make some extra money without risking anything right now, without doing, you know, without interfering with what you're doing, but make some extra money in your spare time that could eventually replace your full-time income. Would you like to know some more about it? That's an offer people can't refuse. I sound like a godfather now. That sounds like an offer that people can't refuse because it's real relative to them. It's what they said they were interested in. The other thing to get good at is telling stories. You really do need to learn how to tell stories. A story start with your own stories, but also make sure that when you deliver that story, you're delivering it with some excitement and some passion because if you're just telling the simple bare facts and relating it in a flat, boring way, people will lose the will to live. They'll just turn off. When people are excited and people are animated, your prospects want to listen to it. They want, they'll get excited with you as well. Now, on the basis of that, we've been talking over the, over the last few weeks, been talking about uh, through GoPro, we were talking about learning how to tell your own story. And there is a very, very simple formula that Eric Worre was talking about does not detract in any way whatsoever with anything that Larry Thompson talks about or anything else. I've actually been looking through notes today, looking through my books about, uh, from GoPro, looking through my books from Larry Thompson, and weirdly enough, the same language comes through from each and every one of them at every single step along the way. You need to know how to tell your story in four steps and keep it really short and sweet. If you make it too long-winded and you make it all about you in a big way, prospects lose the sense, of, the sense of interest in it. They don't want to know. So the first thing you want to do is tell people your background really quickly, what it is, but then tell people what you didn't like about your background. So for me, my background was car sales, and I loved selling cars. Apart from one thing I really hated, I hated the fact that if I wanted a day off or a holiday, or anything, I virtually had to beg for a day off. I went in and said to my boss, I need, I need to book a holiday. And the first stock answer that came back every single time would be, can you afford to take a holiday? I must pay you too much money. It was just, it was a nightmare. And I hated it. And my wife loved holidays and loved booking holidays. So eventually, I found network marketing. And what I found is I could actually make more money doing something that was more fun. And now I can book my holidays whenever I want. The beauty about this right now, it means that I'm completely free. Financially, I earn as much as I used to do or more, but now I'm in charge of my time. And no one gets to tell me when I get up, when I go to work, when I come home, whatever, I run my time. That's what the winner's circle means to me. A real short animated story like that will get people to lift it. Just go through, just think about your own background and see how that can, those four things can relate to you and get used to telling that story. The other thing you need to do is learn other people's stories. We've got a mountain of calls that you've been on in the last couple of weeks. You've heard so many different stories. There must be a ton that really resonated with you. Whether it be stories about someone who had a similar background to you and hated what they did and so do you and they sort of became clear free. Whether it's a single mum that wanted to be able to bring her children up and work from home. Whether it's Bryce Thompson who was 19 years old when he, when he sort of uh, came into IM Academy never been involved in network marketing before, but his mum told him it was a good thing. He'd seen his mum doing it. And so he decided he wanted to do it and he wanted to do it proud. And now he's making small fortunes. Listen to the stories that you like and either record them or write them down. And once you've got them written down, don't just write it down and forget it. 
but read it and memorize it until you can relate it off the top of your head and say it back time and time again. If you ever think that you're talking to someone and your story is not big enough for them, pick on someone else's story that will tell the story that will do it for them. But should always remember more than anything else that your own story is way more powerful than you really think it is. Looking at the faces on here right now, some of you guys, I, I tell your stories day in, day out when I'm talking to my prospects. Because I tell stories of people who've only been involved with this business for weeks and months, had never, never heard about trading before, but just got really, really excited and you are doing incredible things. The weird thing is I'm telling your stories and you're scared to tell your own. That's really weird, but it's true. If ever someone turns around and shoots an objection at you that you're stuck with, there's your stock answer. That's the simplest answer. Larry Thompson came out with this the other day, and I thought, do you know, I was taught that 30 years ago, and I used it day in, day out, day in, day out, and we've, I've stopped doing it. We've stopped doing it. And we really do have to go back to the basics. And it's the best answer when someone turns around and says, what about this? And you don't know the answer. All you have to say is, I don't know about that. All I know is they told me if I can send a text, I can do this business. And last week I made 100 quid. A little story and a little short answer quashes every single objection. There are some, you know, some people ask really seriously boring technical questions. There are some people that are like that. If you have to find out more, you can do, but the majority of people will take that as being an answer and it will be enough to literally move you on. What we didn't want to do is make going out, reaching people any more difficult than it has to be right now. And we have done that in the past. So next week, we're going to talk about follow-ups, but I just want to sort of clear the screen right now, because what I want to do is answer questions that any of you guys have. Really what we need to be doing is teaching everyone in our team. And as I'm looking at this right now, but there are tons of people missing from this, this call that should be on it. And they really need to be watching this stuff. They need to be learning this stuff because they're making it way, way, way too complicated. We need to be going back to basics. You guys have got to be the ones that turn around and tell people to go back to basics right now. Get people to watch the recording, get people to come back. You know, they shouldn't have to ask questions really because the answers are so simple. And when you think about it, we think about what Larry Thompson told us the other day. And if you weren't on that call, a recording of it has been posted in the Winner's Circle in the Phoenix Group. It's been posted in the Breakfast Club and the FX Trade group, Trades Group as well. I posted it uh, on Friday for everybody. And Sam and I were talking about it today. I've been back and I've watched it since. And I said, it'd be interesting to have a look and see how many people have actually watched it since I posted it. I posted it in four groups to hundreds of people. And when Simon and I looked at it this afternoon, 21 people had watched it. I, I really, 21 people. There's a man who's made a thousand millionaires and 21 people have actually listened to what he had to say. The story doesn't end there because 21 people actually looked at it, but 90% of those 21 left after less than 10 minutes. It's like that conversation was absolute gold. Who was actually on that call the other day? Katie, Jamie, Tracy. Unmute yourself, guys, and tell people what you heard. Let's have some feedback from there. Katie, you go first. Um, yeah, for me, the most interesting bit was the 80, 15 and 5, all that they talked about. Um, and just to let you know that you've got to think of the audience that, you, that you, you're wanting to get in. And like what they explain is that 80% of people actually want to earn, I think it were $500 to $1,500 a month, literally doing work that doesn't have much, um, doesn't interfere with the day-to-day -day life. Um, and, sorry, my down. And, um, and for me that were really interesting 
um, because I know when I, 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 I'm really passionate about this business and, and I, I have literally verbal diarrhea when I talk about it. And I know for me, when I go on and on and people come into me shopping, I'm like, oh yeah, and if you do this and you're going to make millions and, and it's going to take five years, but you'll make millions of traders have been making this. And like, we may just sit back and think, do you know what? Like people look and just think, well, it, like you said, Roger, it's like what they said, if they, they just want to make a bit of extra money a week. So if I can just like rein myself in and just think, you know, most people would be happy with earning an extra hundred quid a week. And I think that's, to me, that really resonated with where me personally, I think I'm going wrong when I'm prospecting to people. And I just thought to look at it like that, we're, we're really good. The interesting thing, uh, was, I mean, you asked the question earlier on today, you asked me about that. And I, I think the one thing about it is that we, we all see the bigger picture. We all know the possibilities here. Mm. But most people that you're talking to don't know the possibilities don't believe the possibilities yeah but when you tell people that they can make the extra money that they need pretty much now and let's forget about trading for a second let's just think about someone who needs an extra 100 quid a week p600 gives them 100 quid a week and pays their subscription as well and getting to p600 if you run at it is not a difficult thing I got P600 in my first day. And I got P600 because what I did was I sent out 200 messages, literally 200 messages on Messenger to people who were part of my Facebook contacts. And most of you guys have got hundreds or thousands of Facebook contacts. I sent out 200 messages to people who knew me a little bit. They didn't really know me well, but they, were, they knew me enough to know my name. And just said, I'd just come across something that blew me away. If they wanted to know more about it, let me know. 12 people out of 200 came back and said yes. About, I'd say about the same number uh, promised they would look at it, but never actually did. And the vast, vast majority just ignored me. But all it took was 200 messages going out. That's a matter of... Jamie, how long does it take to send 200 messages out? Jamie sends more messages out than anybody I know. Um, probably about an hour for me. <laughs> <laughs> an hour. It yeah. was copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste with a simple message. And I tell people that I went P600 in my first 12 hours and people go, that's amazing. It really wasn't amazing. You know, because I didn't know what I was saying in the first instance. I got everybody on a three way with Simon. And I, I just plugged people into it, repeating, you know, with something that absolutely anyone can do. But if you bring someone on board right now who needs to make an extra hundred pound a week, they can hit P600 in their first week if they really go for it. And they've got their extra, they've got $150 a week coming in. Pay the subscription, there's $100 left over a week. All right, maybe, maybe it's not 100 quid, but, they've, but they're also getting paid $25 for every person that they sign up anyway. So that's probably going to tip them over the, mon the money that they want. And it's something that they can do day in, day out, day in, day out. Listening to Larry Thompson talking about it, he said what you should be doing is you should be signing up 10 new people every month. And when he says 10 new people every month, he doesn't mean 11 people this month and nine next month. He means 10 people every month, month in, month out, with the simplest pitch in the world. All you've got to do is... All we do is we send you a text. You look at that, and if you can send a text message... You can make money. We're going to send you a text. You just copy it from one, one thing into an app. And last week I made 100 quid. Nice and simple. No complicated pitch involved. Just keep it simple. Uh, Jamie, what did you get out of it on, on when, when you heard Larry? Two hour call, Rog. Absolutely legend. Um, making it simple, going back to basics, making it uh, fun, magical, and uh, simple. Doing the boot club as well on the Friday. That was mad. that was meant for that boot club on the Friday. But yeah, 
the thing is, you, you forget yourself, but like you say, people don't want, the, you know, the extra 50 quid is what they really want. It's when, when we turn around and go, oh, somebody earns a quarter of a million, they're like, yeah, right, okay. But 50 quid comes in a lot they, nowadays, doesn't it? You know what I mean? 100. And it's not just that. 50 or 100 pounds a week now, but when they get 50 to 100 pounds and they've got that and they've solved their immediate problem, well, then everybody wants more. So if they can then turn around and see that they can have an extra thousand a month and they can see it's achievable, well, then they'll go for more. And before too long, they believe that they can make two grand a month. Then they believe they can make five grand a month and they believe they can make 10 grand a month. But the belief comes along with it. You can get people to, to make all the big money, but start with something that they want right now and they hope they can achieve and help them to achieve it. And I, I always go back, you guys must have heard me say a million times, my favourite Zig Ziglar quote, you can have everything that you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. Well, what they want is 500 quid a month. Yeah, 500 quid a month will stop people from losing, right now, 500 quid a month will stop thousands of people in the UK from losing their houses because of COVID, because of the financial ramifications of everything else that's happened. Tracy, what did you get out of it? Um, I got out of it the fact that, yes, keep it simple. The book club was um, absolutely awesome, but it's known, known your audience, the language and behaviour. So it's sort of showing your passion, but without sort of too much, as you said earlier, technical stuff round and about it. Um, it it's just really keeping it, keeping it simple, which was just absolutely gold <laughs> yeah. gold for me because we've been, we've been bombarded with so much information it was actually lovely to hear just keep it simple yeah it's it's just that and the fact is that we have the tools and the book club you've mentioned it jamie's jamie's mentioned it i'd i'd almost forgotten it with everything else that came across but Larry has started a book club where he's he's going to be discussing every single week. He's going to be talking about the book of the week that can help you in terms of mindset. And every Friday, him and his wife are going to do a 15 minute um, training, 15 minute podcast. They're actually, well, it's not a podcast. They're going to be doing it. They're calling it a podcast, but they're actually going to be doing it on Facebook and Facebook Live. And People can go and watch that for free. So you can send your prospects to look at this as being an independent source of information. No one's trying to sell anything to them. They don't have to pay for the education. If you register for the podcast, if you go to themillionairetraining.com and register for the book club free, when you get there, first and foremost, this week right now, you can actually get... Uh, you can actually get all of Larry's millionaire training. And Simon and I drove, you've, you've heard me say it a lot in recent weeks, we drove the length and breadth of this country wearing out audio tapes, you know, cassette tapes that had been copied and copied and copied and copied. They sounded crap. They were so crackly. They were like 50th generation copies of these things. They were awful. But we wanted to hear what he had to say. You can download those things now for $10. Ten dollars. That's priceless. I, I've already downloaded them, burned them onto CDs, and got them in my car. So when I'm driving, I can listen to him over and over and over again. And the weird thing is, Larry sponsored a guy called Jim Rohn, and I've told you this this before. But Jim Rohn actually, the day that Larry came into the business, into network marketing, into a different business, uh, Jim Rohn came in on the same day as Larry. And Jim took Larry under his wing and taught him something. Now, eventually, in Herbalife, Larry sponsored, uh, sponsored Jim into Herbalife. Jim Rohn, if you're aware of him, was one of the masters of our industry. And um, I've heard Jim Rohn so many times. And listening to Larry, I can hear not just Jim's words, but I can hear Jim's tone. I can... I, I can hear the way Jim speaks in the way Larry tells the stories. And Sam and I are discussing this again today because the weird thing is, Tony Robbins says success leaves clues. 
Jim Rowan said, if you see a guy who is doing really, really well and he's got a funny walk, copy his funny little walk. Larry Thompson copies Jim Rohn's patterns of speech, not just these words, but his patterns of speech, the way he pronounces things, the excitement in his tone, copies every little bit of it. And it's made him hundreds of millions of dollars, but it's allowed him to make more than a thousand people into millionaires. And the weird thing is that on Thursday nights, and you can watch this video, this recording yourself, but he actually turned around and said that he was expecting to see one of the ladies on here that were actually on that call on the cover of his next book that's being written as being one of the next millionaires that he'd be making out of this. Daisy, you watched it as well. What did you get out of it? You muted. Oh, I know. I didn't know. I didn't know how to unmute it on my iPad. I'm like, um, I think mine was uh, very similar to Kate's, to be honest. Do you know, just um, uh, trying to apply more to the eighty percent and um, keeping it simple. That's the biggest takeaway because you do overcomplicate things quite a bit when uh, when really. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing that. Nope. Mm. Can I explain the 80-15-5, just so that you guys have got that, because Larry talked about it. But I, I've had Larry explain the 80-15-5 to me personally in a way that I loved and really easy to explain. He said, I want you to imagine that you're driving down a road, there's, there's a three-lane road, in the middle of your city, yeah? And there's a set of traffic lights and three cars pull up at the traffic lights. There's a Mondeo, there's a BMW and a Ferrari. And all three cars run out of petrol at exactly the same moment in time, at the lights. Someone comes along and they've got five gallons of fuel to put in each car. So they put five gallons of fuel in each car. All the cars are all going to a meeting in the same hotel, 20 miles away. You've got a Mondeo, a BMW M3, and a Ferrari. Will they all get there? It's got saying no, they won't all get there. 20 miles away and they've got five, five gallons of fuel. Even the Ferrari is probably gonna do more than five miles to the gallon. So I think it's fair, fair to say that they will definitely all get there. But they're going to get there at different speeds. The Ferrari is going to get there fast. The BMW will get there quick, but probably not as fast as the Ferrari. And the Mondeo will still definitely get there. Well, the Ferrari is the 80. Oh, sorry, sorry. The, the Mondeo is the 80. The BMW is the 15. And the Ferrari is the 5. They're all going to the same place. They're all going to get there eventually. They're just going to get there at different speeds. The only thing is, when it comes to the 80, there's a lot more people that fall into that 80% bracket. There are a lot more Mondeos on the road than there are Ferraris. Mondeo is probably a bad example. It should have been food, should have been a focus because Mondeos are disappearing these days. But there are a lot more of the everyday cars than there are BMWs than there are Ferraris. Most people are plodding along they're quite happy to get there at their own speed so let them get there at their own speed the only thing that matters is that they get there that's all that counts and whichever one you happen to be in whether you're part of the 15 or whether you're part of the five you can get there as well but every one of us can get there if you think about that and you think talk, you start talking to that and you start talking and telling that same story to everybody else and telling people that everyone can get there at their own pace, you include people. If you turn around and say, you've got to master Instagram, you've got to master TikTok, you've got to be adept at doing Facebook Lives, you've got to be able to like speak to hundreds of people, you know, do live meetings, stand out in front, you lose so many people. If you tell them they can do what they want to do to get what they want to get, you win their heart. And when you win their heart, you win their trust. And when you win their trust, they'll join your business. That's it. Just keep it simple. 
And the only message we need to be saying to people with something that's duplicatable is, look, all I know is this guy turned around and told me if I could send a text message, I can make some, I, I could make some extra money. And last week I made 80 quid. That's the only presentation you need to do. You don't need to explain, you don't have to explain how network marketing works. You don't have to explain how Forex trading works. We've got educators for that. As long as you can just tell people that they can get started just by reading some, reading some, some uh, simple text messages that we send out and copying some numbers into a different app. That's it really, it's, it's gonna be really simple. You're gonna hear a lot of the same kind of stuff tomorrow from me, not quite as much detail as I put into uh, what you should be getting out of it. But tomorrow night, Simon and I are gonna go through some of these things as well. We're also gonna tell you a couple of other bits and pieces. On Tuesday, we're also going to do a very, very special event. I'm gonna wrap this up for now because we've, we've had so many calls in the last few weeks and we've had you on for hours upon hours upon hours. We're going to keep it short right now. Before I wrap it up, does anyone have any questions about anything whatsoever? No? Okay. All we really need you guys to do is just go out and deliver that simple message to as many people as you can every single day. Whether you deliver that on Facebook Messenger, whether you deliver it on WhatsApp, whether you deliver it face to face, just ask as many people as you can. Honestly, doing what I did, sending that message out to 200 people can probably get you to P600 this week if that's what you want to do. Just a simple message to people that just turned around and said, you know, I was talking to this guy and they told me if I could send a text message, I could do that. You can copy and paste that out and send that out to as many people as you can. And you will have people wanting to talk to you and wanting to know more. And we have all the other tools that we need anyway, so we'll just keep it simple and get to as many people as we can. Let's wrap it up. I'm going to record this. Oh, this, this has been recorded rather. I will post this tomorrow. If you want to see the previous trainings, if you if you hadn't seen the previous trainings, then uh, they're on my uh, face on my YouTube channel. So go across there. They're in there as well. And if you need the links or anything like that, give me a shout. And I'll give them to you. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye, everybody.